Greetings and salutations, dear reader. If these words are gracing your eyes, then you have had the good fortune to find the journal of Sir Edmund Rockwell, stupendous scholar, gallant gentleman, and explorer extraordinaire. The obelisks, the starlit sanctuary, and that precious ore shall be the foundation of my legacy as a scientist, gentleman, and explorer. Brilliant and impeccably groomed Sir Edmund Rockwell shall not end this day. Why, I am a seasoned, silver-tongued negotiator. The silver tongue of Sir Edmund Rockwell has prevailed once again. Ah, ridiculous. I don't care what year they hail from. I am Sir Edmund Rockwell. A mind like my own only comes once a millennium. It should be their honour to have me amongst their ranks. At least the painted sharks brought some fresh fish. Perhaps I'll side with them. It's just favourable language in the name of progress, that's all. Perfectly moral. Well, I suppose if they return with another batch of apes, then I'll know that Lazarus Chowder doesn't cause asphyxiation, won't I? Well... Bugger the little blighters, I say. Well then, on to new frontiers. Excelsior! Confound it all. Confound it all. Confound it all. I am absolutely astonished, shocked, flabbergasted, astounding. Yes, yes, there was a dragon on the other side. I'm sure Mr. Nerva and his men fought quite the heroic battle, but discovering another slobbering beast is trivial in comparison. And all of its secrets are mine for the taking. Magnificent. The mysteries of the obelisks are mine to uncover, not Miss Walker's or even Mr. Nerva's. Mine. I must be the one to unlock its secrets. Our fates are intertwined, this majestic metal and I. More data, Rockwell. You need more data. You are so very close. Confound those confused contraptions. I must say, nothing reminds a man of his own mortality quite like a desolate wasteland. Why, well, on one occasion, I fought off a Bengal tiger with naught but an empty flask and my favourite pipe. I may not be as spry as I was when I fell the charging rhino on the plains of the Serengeti. Of course, in my youth I could have grappled them into submission. Why, I would simply pin their wings behind their backs and drive them to the ground. Yes, I'd give them a truly thorough thrashing. Oh, to be young again, I shall remain miles ahead. Sir Edmund Rockwell is always ahead of his foes, but not by a mere step. No, I am miles and miles beyond their reach. As I said, miles ahead. Mile. Curse these stubborn brutes. Despite a litany of polite, gentlemanly requests, they refuse to allow me to parley with their leader. Oh, damn this noise! It is impossible to concentrate with all this insufferable whinging. Naturally, he was impressed by my intellect and gentlemanly demeanour. Granted, he did not say so aloud. Rockwell, old bean, you've done it again. I found it. I really found it. Raw, untainted samples of that same mysterious ore from the sanctuary. Her scientific mind may be far below my own, but she can fire a rifle. It's outrageous. Such a beautiful product of science should not be sullied by her blood-stained hands. Nonsense. Everything is an element. Did they seem to forget to name it? The nerve of these people. I have never seen such arrogance and disrespect directed towards a worthy colleague. At last, I shall be able to observe Edmundium in its rawest, most natural state. Marvellous. I can hardly contain my excitement, though I must make an effort to. Uh, I shall endure it as best I can. I suppose that means I shall have to find a way to think without stroking my beard. <clears throat> Rubbish! The Edmundium would never harm me. But I am Sir Edmund Rockwell. No problem is too complex, and no task is too great for me. Nothing can keep me from my goal. Nothing can keep me from ascending. They dare to lecture me. Me! Imbeciles. They claim to be from the future, but they fear progress. Yes. That's it. I have it. The Edmundium knows it too. 
It hums its approval as I work. It knows that soon we shall be one. Soon I too shall ascend. It is taking all my discipline to not simply ascend right now. Yes, why don't I? I should do it. I deserve it. I... I, Sir Edmund Rockwell, shall become a god. On this day, on this glorious day, I ascend.